Alright, so this is the beginning of our quick little introduction to HTML for those of you that are trying to learn about uh, search engine marketing uh, or search engine optimization. Um, so, real quick, every page is going to start with what we call an HTML tag. And the tag is essentially uh, anything in between this less than and greater than sign. Um, so if you see these symbols at the beginning and the end of something in the source code of a page, then you will know it's called a tag. Um, what you'll also notice is that some of this actually makes sense to you. You can look at this and go, hey, you know what, these are words and it's not actually as cryptic as you might think it would be. So every page, every tag I should say, has an opening and a corresponding closing tag. And the reason that is, is very simply because anything that falls between those two tags is considered to be part of that tag or part of the definition of that tag for, our, for simplicity's sake. So, every page will start with an HTML tag here, and then it will end with a closing HTML tag. And you'll notice that the only difference between the opening tag here and the closing tag here is this forward slash. And that means it's leaning forward, or the top of it is leaning to the right. Uh, the next tag that you will see at the beginning of every page after the HTML tag is the head tag or the head uh, section, the header section. And you have an opening head tag here and a closing one here. And you can put all kinds of nifty little doodads inside the heading tag, which you're always going to want to have and probably what has been one of the most important things you can have on your page, if not the most important thing you can have on your page, is the title tag. And that is the title of the page so that when somebody comes to your page their browser asks for the page and the thing you will see displayed at the top of your browser is this little snippet right here and the title of this page happens to be this is the title of the page um, that is the most important thing you can do on your page so make sure that your title is a very concise description of what is found on that page. Um, and back in the day, people used to stuff a whole lot of keywords in there, and they got some boost in their search engine rankings because of that. Uh, I think on some small level you could expect that if you had a really obscure keyword today, but for the most part, you should really be concerned with how this reads to somebody who might be looking for whatever it is you're selling or for whatever it is you're uh, doing on that page. You want to get them to click on this title if it happens to be the anchor text that's displayed on the page that they're looking at. So don't just try and stuff a bunch of keywords in here. Try and make something that's compelling for someone to click on as well. Uh, the next thing you'll see is what we call the meta description. Um, and this is usually displayed underneath the page title, let's say on Google for the search engine results page. So you type in something, how to write a, write a page in HTML, you'll see, if this were to come up, you would see this is the title of the page, and then underneath it, it would give you some sort of snippet from the page. Sometimes they grab something that might be a little more appropriate that they think is um, a better fit for your search. But most of the time, they will use this description right here. And so, again, you're going to want to use a few more words to describe exactly what is found on the page. You'll have more space to do that. So you'll want to do something a little bit different, but also compel people. You might want to continue with whatever the thought was you started in your title tag and see if you can get them to click on it. Um, the next thing you'll see is the keywords tag, and this is something that I've put here because a lot of people say they don't do anything, and they're probably right, but the reality is this was something that we used back in the day, you know, back in 96 and 97 and later, when, you know, 
Google didn't exist and there were search engines that none of you have even heard of. Um, and this was one of the things that they, the only, one of the only things they had to go off of were the keywords in the keyword um, tag of the page source. And so I don't really see the harm in throwing them in there. You know, you can throw a few keywords in there. Uh, a lot of people say they're absolutely useless. It takes about 10 seconds to do it. I'm not sure why you wouldn't want to do it. Um, so anyway, you can put a bunch more stuff in there, but just for the basics here, those are some of the things that you will likely find inside of the head tag. And there are definitely some things that you absolutely want to have, especially this title of the page. Um, so after we close the head tag with the forward slash head uh, closing tag, the next thing you'll find is usually is the body tag. And anything in between these two, anything in the body of the page is essentially the content of the page. It's the content that you will see displayed on your screen when you load the page. And I'm not going to get into um, that right now. We'll do that in a separate video. Um, but that is the actual content of the page. Uh, and then you will have the closing HTML tag, usually found right next to the closing body tag. These are almost always right next to each other at the bottom. And with some of the analytics programs like uh, Google Analytics, uh, you will have to put a tag either right before or right after the body tag, the closing body tag. And so just so you know, this is what you're going to be looking for. Just scroll right to the bottom of the page. So that's just going to wrap up the basics for trying to understand what HTML looks like, how you can modify it, and uh, just give you some background. Some of this may or may not even be uh, usable today, but it's good to have a background knowledge so you can have intelligent conversations and understand things that you might find online that might be a little outdated in some regards, but that may not be in others. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.